And to, hello, this is Sarah, and today we will be drawing a we will be drawing a cat. We will be drawing a cat who is just sitting and doing nothing. Okay, so what you need is pencils, something to color, and a paper. But I'll put a book underneath. So I will not get ink underneath while I color it because my pen's ink is really, really strong. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we'll start with the cat's with the cat's top of the forehead. So we are going to draw a little curved line. Now you're going to draw its cheeks. They have little fat cheeks. You're going to draw a smaller curved line. But we'll leave the space there so we can draw the ears really, really big. You can leave a little bit of space underneath so we can go like this. Okay, so now we'll draw the, draw the cat's mouth. You're going to draw a C shape. Here and another C shape, shape, but the underneath part of the C shape has to connect there. It looks like a really curvy W. And now we're going to draw the cat chin. So we're going to draw a curved line here. And it's already going to look like a cat like you've never seen before. And now we're going to draw the ears. Um, I'm going to draw some points. You could connect those you know, like this and this. I'm going to make it a little more. But I can make it a little, a little curve on the top so that the uh, cat's Cat's ear looks natural. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a triangle, but it's that it's a little tilted. Okay, now we are going to draw the cat's body. It'll be sitting, so we are going to draw those two a little closer. And okay, we're going to start with it with her neck. So there are little lines, but this line will be much much longer. It's going to go down like this. It's going to be a little curved. Okay. Oh, that was too long. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to draw, the, draw its front, front leg. You can draw a little bit of curved line here. And follow the line, but only that it's a little longer on the other side. And you're going to make the cat that it's sitting on. Or, okay, so you're going to draw a circle shape, but don't connect here. Now we're going to draw a little two lines on here. Okay, now we're going to draw another line here to, to make the other leg. And do the same circle shape and two lines. He's so cute. Okay, so now we'll draw the tight the cat back. So we are going to draw a long line that comes like this and that it curves. That will make its butt and also the space for its back leg. So the back leg will come and touch the front leg and come back in, come down, and this foot will be really longer. It'll be like this. I look like pretty funny now. Okay. okay, now we are going to connect this. Imagine that it's going through that line. But, so we are drawing the cat's tummy. Here we are going to draw the tooth here. Now we are going to draw the cat's tail. Cats have long tails, so we are going to draw really, really, really. Like we can draw. You can draw like any tissue you want. I'm going to do a curvy line. 
Oh, a cat. Yes, now you're going to draw the cat's, cat's face part. You're going to draw his eyes, nose, and the nose. And also the inside of his ears, so it looks realistic. Okay. Then you're going to draw a W shape. But only that the points are, are really round. Okay, just let me, okay. So now, so can you see the nose? Okay, now I can see it. So for the nose, we are going to make some curly lines here. Right is here and here. So we are going to draw a little curve like this. This might look a little funny right now. And we are going to draw a pointy line that goes like this. And so that it makes the cat's eat. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to draw the cat's no eyes. You're going to collect a little curve line and like make a half a circle down here and then it connects like this. Do the same thing here. Okay, that's ugly. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to make my cat um kind of like I have like kind of like scary eyes, so now I'm going to draw cat eyes on this cat. We are going to draw a really pointy oval down the middle, and and if you want, you can draw little circles to make the highlight and color in the box, but not and color in the other thing, but not the highlight. And to make his eyes look shiny. Oh, I look so cute. Okay, now you're going to draw the inside of itself like this. Little black lines to make it look furry and it's like kind of like a triangle that follows its ears. Okay, we have a cat but we need to color it. I got some. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose my colors. I'm going to make this cat really, really, really adorable. I got some really cool cat patterns. So, so. I, I'm going to make my cat into an American short hair, so I'm going to take blue gray and also um, some black and some pink for its, but I'm using pale pink for its nose and done. So we are going to need this color and maybe you'll need it fruit pink for the inside of his nose so and you and if you want to make the color of the cat's eyes you can get a blue or other colors that you like i'm using turquoise blue so let's start with the cat's eyes open up the coloring and color in the cat's eyes believe the eye. Now take your black, open it up, and color in your cat's eye so it looks more cute. And trace the eyes with black. It looks so cute. Oh. So say goodbye to your eye color and pick out your pink and color the nose. And if you want, you can use this color to color in the ears, but I'm using fruit pink. Okay, goodbye to pale pink and hello to fruit pink. So I'm going to color in the ears with this color. Okay. So this is the part that I'll make the cat's body color. So I'm going to open up 
my pen into a thick color and it is blue gray. And I'm going to color in all of that cat's body. Like this. And this will take me um, a little bit of time to do this. So I'm going to show you while, while I'm done. Okay, so now I have the cat body all gray. And I'll take my blue. And I'll take my black. And I'm going to make the cat nose black. I mean, well, you can just leave the pink. And I'm going to trace all the lines that you had to do. This will make the cat look more. This will make you be able to see the cat's body more easier. And it's okay if if the lines sort of get out of the way because it's your art. Like this. Follow the belly. Okay, so now still use your black and you're going to draw the stripes of an American shirt here. So get your and and draw a line straight down the middle of his forehead. When you're done, you can draw little ones on the side. We will also draw the stripes coming this way and also this way. So, so kind of like a character tiger stripe. And they have a much, much cooler, cooler pattern on their back. So we are going to draw like a line that comes down. I'm going to use a thick part because I want to do it a little quickly, quickly. And we are going to make a bunch of leaves. And we are going to color in the edge of it. Okay, we are going to leave some shapes and the shape that we are living in my look like kind of like some leaf shapes. And draw the line coming down here. And draw a bunch of the shapes. It's like a pattern on its back. I look so happy to have it. Oh, and you can make some stripes all over its back leg. Oh yeah, so 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 cute. So now we are going to open the black in the small shape, and we are going to make like wobbly. We are going to like make really 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 crumble zigzag lines to make it look really furry on the tail. I make sure short tails are really, really furry. Like this. And once you have a little space there, draw a line and color it in. And if you want to draw more stripes here. And just like that, you have your very own America shirt here and see you and I'll see you um, later or some minutes or tomorrow bye bye